trick into believing we're all in a simulation. Ooh, that's meta. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Weeza and welcome back to this week's episode of the Sims 4 Ultra Extreme Fisher Legacy Challenge. It is episode 20 and uh, we have ticked off that ultra extreme part, but I'm still going to call it the ultra extreme legacy challenge because like it's what it is at its core, you know? And you guys brought up very valid points that it could just be straight up confusing to have two different names for the same series. So we keep it. The ultra extremely long title. Am I right? Any case. <laughs> so this episode, I'm getting comfortable. Um, you'll notice that the mic is like directly in my shot and that is to help uh, because I have a heck and lot of background noise with my laptop here. So uh, I have put in some measures in place and one of them is that I now have a little mic right next to my mouth. And hopefully also just a bunch of other things are gonna be better with this edit. But let's get into it. So looking over here, you will see that we are still on eight points. Nothing has changed there, but that's all right. We had a relaxing episode last time and we'll see what we can do actually in this time to um, improve, to improve our points. We're going to be working on the nature collections and things like that, especially these collections over here and see what we can do to um, complete a bunch of them while we're out and about. And then also the memorialization. Oh, and the other thing that was actually, I saw was gonna be easy, quite easy for us to actually um, achieve. So I go through this regularly to make sure that we don't miss anything. Is that purchase and fully upgrade the most expensive fridge and stove. So we can do that because we have Clement who can fully upgrade stuff. So we're gonna be focusing on that now. And I am also going to be showing you guys Angela's makeover. So let's get into it. So everyone, welcome back. Angela. Let's go to plan outfits so I can show you guys all of her lovely outfits. Remembering that since she was a toddler, she's had a little fringe. And I have felt obliged <laughs> to keep that fringe just because it is so true to her. Here is Angela, everyone. How cute does she look? So she has the computer with aspiration and she is good and perfectionist. So I took that. I That inspired me, like to the point where I felt that she would develop short-sightedness from studying so hard and being such a hardcore A student. Um, so now she wears glasses and it just fits into that little nerdy aesthetic. I only made one outfit for her at a time. We can build it up as time goes on. Here's her formal outfit, very similar to what she had as a child actually, but same, same vibe, keeping her fringe. And then here's her athletic outfit. There's some leggings. Let me know guys right now Please, please just post right now. Do you think she should go to university? Remembering that in The Sims 4, your Sims don't need to leave the house to go to university. They can participate from home. Let me know what you guys think. It, I think it would be interesting for her. Here's her sleepwear. Some basic slippers. Here's a party outfit. How cute is this outfit? I just like, so, so like this, this hairstyle. Like pushing back her fringe a little bit. And I just thought it was such a sweet look. Here's her swimwear which is what she's in at the moment. And I think she had this exact hairstyle like as a child. Here's the hot weather outfit once again. I just love this girl's outfits. I had so much fun making them. And then here is her, I don't know actually, you know why she's so made up for, for the winter outfit. I don't know why I decided that. But any case, these are her outfits, everyone. This is our dear Angela, my favorite child, Fisher. That's her middle name. Angela, my favorite child, Fisher. Okay, so she can... It's still talk like a pirate day for a couple more hours. Oh, um, I also went into create a sim and I changed Jaden's outfits to all be bear outfits. So he has no excuse to not wear a bear outfit. Let's just talk like a pirate. Ask ere the wind blows. Oh, he loves this. Oh, cute. Talk like a pirate. Mason loves this tradition from being a child. Our time to practice your buccaneer lingo. Ye be encouraged to speak like a proud pirate this day. Yeah, so let's see that everyone is participating in Talk Like a Pirate Day. It would just be really nice to have this like as a nice, as another good mood lit going into the next day. Look how cute this is that they're just hanging out here. Big sister Angela telling them a tale of the sea. She's even giving a story about bears. She's like telling her brothers about like bear stories. So she acquired the charisma skill. Okay, I think, have you guys achieved it? I think you have? No, almost. Why are they singing Jingle Bells? That's not a pirate song. There we go. 
Almost done, almost done. Share them secrets. Come on, come on, almost done, almost done. Okay, this seems good enough. It's two o'clock in the morning. We've been talking like pirates for the past couple of hours. I think we, we can go sleep. Everyone can go do their thing. The best void critter. I got in a fight with someone at school about which void critter is more powerful. I said it was the Octicorn, but he kept saying Swintor. Which one is it? Um, I don't know who he's asking, actually. Oh, Jane is awake. Okay, so Jane is awake. He must be asking Jane. Jane would say both are equally powerful. She wouldn't rouse the anger, but she also wouldn't just agree. So both are equally... Yeah, Jane's very conflict resolution-y. Oh. Unwelcome present. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? That present was meant for you. Be grateful. Sure, give it to someone else. Let's return it to the store. No, this is Jane. That present was made for you. Be grateful. Jane, I think, is manners first, conflict resolution second. We'll see. Okay, I think Clement was the only one who had like an awful talk like a pirate day. The rest of them had a good holiday. Plus two for 12 hours. Plus two for 12 hours. And do you have it? Yes. Okay, the kids all have some good moodlets for the weekend. Okay, Jane, so what do you want to do? You want to collect five crystals. You still need to do that. And then collect three fossils. I wonder if there's anything around on the island here. Oh, there is a fishing spot here by the house. There is one here nearby the house. I thought so. I thought it would be odd to um, to to live at a water body but then not be able to fish. Okay. The rest of the family is all sleeping. Jane actually doesn't have the best energy. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, Jane just caught Madame Zoe's voodoo doll. Remember how these used to bring us money? Oh, a new fish. Jane Fisher has caught a new fish. Celestial grouper. I've never heard of this one. This is common. They are primordially hunters. They lie on the bottom and surge forward, preferring juvenile surgeon fish and crustaceans. Alternatively, they may hover motionless in the water column before attacking. Interesting. Okay. New one? That's common. Okay. You're doing homework. Oh my gosh, guys. Jaden is doing his homework. It's a Sunday in Sulani and he's really doing homework. I don't know how to feel about that. Maybe we can all do homework then. It's supposed to be a break, but I just... I just... I, I can't... Jane just caught a coconut wonder if I can plant it. Celestial group again. Okay, so it does seem to be common. She's getting tired now. But what is hopping out the water here? Look at that big one. What is that? That's the... I want that one. New fish, new fish, new fish. Green placket caught by medium fish. Oh, and it's rare. They are quite intelligent as fish go. And they can even be trained to recognize their owners and do tricks. Whoa, that's so cool. I need to um, favorite it or... Mount it, yeah. Because um, that's a rare fish and I want to put it up on the wall. I actually forgot to save a exotic fish to make sure that I didn't... Um, no, the exotic goldfish. But yeah. She's quite exhausted. That's been some really good fishing for now. Um, you can go home and sleep. I think the kids have been very responsible. Uber responsible. Why are you feel? Oh, you're feeling focused. What's this? Set the table. Oh! <gasps> What? Look how he's setting the table. I didn't ask him to do that. Cutie pie. And he's reading the scouting manual. He's just like putting it down as he goes along. And she's also acquired the cooking skill. What's she doing? She's napping. What is it? What is it with my kids are napping? Why is he really play? He's giggly from illness. Oh, uncontrollable laughs are only funny for so long. Oh. My kids are getting sick on vacation. They never get sick and suddenly they're now sick on vacation. Herb crusted salmon. Oh, the festival of youth has started. Kids, grab your paper, kabuto, and prepare for the virtual void crypto hunt challenge. I know that we're in the middle of Sulani, but I actually would really like to go to this. I think it would be cute. Talking to Yamachan will let the kiddos begin their journey to the very best virtual void critter hunt around. Ice cream crepes. Oh, that sounds yummy. Almost too cute to eat. These exclusive ice cream crepes are a fun snack for all the ages. Blessings and Yamachan encourage today's youth with a blessing. Whenever you say things like today's youth, like young people don't say that. So it's, it's very funny. And meet up with the lovable resident mascot, Yamachan. Paper Kabuto. Let your child live their best paper samurai life with a special paper Kabuto. Yeah, let's do it. What's this? Travel is unavailable from my current location. 
makes sense. I'm not mad. It makes sense. I shouldn't be able to jet off to Japan from here, Hawaii, for the Festival of Youth. I shouldn't be able to, but I really wish I could now. Oh, saved by a sim from being around a life-saving sim. She's feeling happy because, like, remember when Clement, you know, saved your life? But it's smoke and it's flames, all the humanity and all the fantasy. Everyone's making food and no one's actually eating it. It's distressing me. Mallory says, congratulations on your recent birthday. Eep. Scout meeting. No, guys. No, I draw the line. Let's actually, speaking of scouts, though, let's see your badge progress. Outdoor adventurer. Catch fish, frogs, grilling outdoor. Okay, let's see if you can go catch some fish where your mom was catching. Are there any other fishing spots? Look, a fish trap thingy. I think Jane can set these. Look at the waterfall, guys. Ooh, pretty. Um, Jane, come set a trap here. Set with bait. Use the celestial grouper. Let's go set a trap. Ooh. Mason Fisher has caught a minnow. Oh, guys, the kitties. So Jane's now set the trap there. We'll come back to it later. I've never actually used this before. Oh, and they're bonding as well. Jaden's also caught minnow. Guppy. I'm not going to read through them because we know these fish now. Perch. They're catching a lot of stuff here. Angela's acquired fitness. Mason's getting mental skill out of this. Interesting. Angela, what are you doing? Oh, increase acting skill to two to become a practical performer. Learn new lines either by using a mirror or selecting a sim. Learn new lines. Surely that should increase the acting skill. Need to keep doing that, girl. Gotta keep at it. Oh, Jane found something. One ordinary conch shell. Interesting. Is she just like burrowing around here? Go check your trap. Look at me having no patience whatsoever. Fishing trap is set, but no fish have swam yet. We'll check tomorrow. I need to stop being so impatient. Okay, Mason's also called the Celestial Grouper. Okay. Vacation's ending. There's one day left of this vacation to extend the trip. Choose extend vacation on the phone or computer. Um, It's been a pretty good vacation. And it's almost Jaden's birthday now. Oh, goodness. In two days. Eep. Okay. And he's... And I just didn't get anywhere with his... um, With his traits i mean his aspirations here i don't know what i'm doing with their lives and it's clement's birthday oh my goodness guys it's like a heckin number of birthdays here clement's also in two days okay so Jaden and clement are aging up at the same time i think we can probably why are you doing push-up school oh she's just feeling good company from adoring someone nearby that's cute who who does she adore ah there she adores her father Angela just wants the best for Clement and thinks he is so wonderful. Awed by life-saving hero, adoring sentiment as well. So she's just, she's just like my hero. I just want to see what's here. Oh, we can get a camera. A bicycle might be cool. Oh, pet poles. Cool, cool. Okay. Oh, a tent. That's what we want for, for Jane, actually. Oh, guys, remember when Jane actually only had a tent? <gasps> Everyone keeps making food and it's very irritating. I really think that this is a glitch because no one is going to eat the leftovers. And Clement is just swimming laps here. What's he doing? Cool. Look, there's th three different meals here. Never mind. Look, Clement's making again. I don't understand this. I really don't understand this. The fridge is full of leftovers, guys. You're smart enough. Seems like everyone who can cook is. Are you... Are you... Making progress here? Why didn't he get... Um, stuff there for, for fishing? Ask about day. I'm just gonna see if I can get him. Yeah, this is good. Enthused about outdoors. Please tell me it's nearly there. Ask for typing tips. There we go. He has a badge to collect. Cool. Let's get it. So he'll just have to collect it when he gets home. And then a couple more creative things, I think. But then, oh no, he can't use the easel. He's too young for that. When he's a teenager, probably he'll make a lot of progress. But he is artsy, so we still need to achieve that level 5 creativity skill. I really wish we could have gone to that festival of youth. Trick into believing we're all in a simulation. Ooh, that's meta. Let's do it. Ooh. No empathy. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's evil. Oh. Oh, I thought it was mischievous. I, I didn't think he'd get a bad reputation from that. Okay, never mind. 
Oops. Oh, you can play with the clay. You can play with, yeah, you can mold clay and that can get you. Just eat your leftovers. You have so many leftovers. And then you can clean up when you're done there. Bills have just been, oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, guys, guys. Bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. You owe 10,000 simoleons. I really don't know what to do with the stuff in our inventory because it's making our bills really hefty. Maybe that's part of the ultra extreme challenge now is that I'm just going to keep them infinitely because if I sell it out of my inventory, then it's going to drop my bills again. Then it's no longer ultra extreme. It's just the ultra extreme start. Is it supposed to stay like that? I need to check with Pinstar and Mystic um, because yeah, I now we need to like manifest 10,000 simoleons. I don't regret this vacation. It's been a fairly cost, cost efficient. It's been affordable. Nothing beyond what I think we could afford. And I think Jane can just continue doing some fishing um, for the last little bit. She used cichlid to catch cichlid. Amazing. Earn two thirty two hundred day off. Oh, wow! We're actually missing a day of school. I didn't realize. I thought we'd be home by now. Let's use the begonias. I'm using plants now. Let's see if that gives us anything else. Clement Fisher has identified the tuna. Oh, he taught it was taught by Mason. That's cute. The family keeps squandering money by preparing more and more meals. Okay, Clement, you can go to Jane and you can also fish. I really want that big one. That that blue, big blue one. I want it. Must she angle for a big catch? Is it a big catch? I can't tell. Have I even caught it before? She caught a clown. Oh, Clement just caught a treasure map. He did? Ooh. An old worn roll of paper with cryptic markings smudged with dirt. It might be a good idea to keep this in your Sims inventory before they start digging. <gasps> Let's dig, yo. Okay, Jane's been fishing with this begonia for a while now. Um, Clement caught the mahi mahi. Jane? Caught a new fish, electric eel. Get do it. It's rare. Caught by fresh flowers. Very specific. This electric eel is shockingly large, but sparks great interest from those who catch one. Very cool. It's mounted. Ordinary conch. Nothing to see here. Just a plain old boring conch shell. Definitely doesn't provoke a response from the aquatically inclined. We have four hours left on vacation. Oh, um, butterfly fish release. We're ethical, yo. Clement got a neon angelfish. Jane got a kitchen upgrade part. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade the kitchen, so that comes in handy. And also, we um like don't have money well, enough to pay our bills. Angela acquired the writing skill. Oh, who's calling you? Georgia poses running on a goat house and hang out. Georgia, I'm on. I'm in Sulani. Angela's responsibility fell out of the range on the responsible trait. That's a problem. How do I make her? Clement caught goldfish. Clement's just, just getting all the things here. She needs the bathroom, guys. Get out. Get out. Okay. Well, I mean, we're all going to be going home shortly. So um, we actually can't extend it. We can't afford to. It's quite expensive, actually, for another day. So we're going to end it here. And I think we had a lovely vacation now. Caught a bunch of new fish, not everything that I wanted to catch. So Jane may just have to do a little jet over that side. But for now, we are here. We are home. Let's see what we can do. We need to make money fast. So Jane, let's see what's been happening. Um, so let's fertilize the, the plants with some fish. How far are we into summer? Day two of seven. Okay, we still got... We're still in full swing here. I think this does have to, like, this is influenced by, um, like, the value of the fish. Not necessarily the freshness. But, like, I'm sure that any fertilizing will do a good job of something. Okay. Civic Responsibility Badge. Jaden can collect. Go for it. Well done. Proud of you, son. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing that those will be easier. So, sociability, he can do that. So, who's awake? You can go do that. Okay, that should be enough. There we go. Go collect that scouting badge, my son. What is, why am I saying my son constantly? That's so odd. There we go. 
promoted to Unicorn Scout. He has also received the Bronze Scouting Trophy. There we go. Cool. Well done, Jaden. Go sleep now. Read under covers. That's actually so cute. See? I gave him a bear suit for every outfit. Is he still in the bear phase? He's actually no longer in the bear suit phase. I feel like it doesn't hurt for him to just be in a bear suit constantly. Fertilizing here. Let me just take the fish from everyone else's inventory. This Mahi Mahi. I haven't... Jane hasn't caught a Mahi Mahi. She's caught a golden Mahi Mahi. Are you saying Clement caught a fish that Jane hasn't caught yet? Whoa, Clement. Stay in your lane, bro. Can't be catching fish before Jane catches them. Okay, let's, let's, let's plant a coconut for what it's worth. I don't know what it is worth. Let's see what it does. Okay, something is sparkling here. There we go. Who's sparkling? There. Sparkles. Birds of Paradise is now nice quality. Oh, and the one is excellent quality. That's going to bring us some good money. I feel like we should actually just plant more. We have we have a lot to gain from um, from planting Birds of Paradise. I wonder if Jane hasn't caught something. It still counts for the family, right? That the family's collected it. I want her to catch that Mahi Mahi. But um, just in case... Or just from that perspective, I'm interested. Snapdragons, Fall and Spring. So the Snapdragons are dormant. Okay, Clement needs to make make this. So just resume the bathtub, please. Don't make food. Just get it. Just get the leftovers. Just get the leftovers. I never have to be asked twice to get leftovers. I also want to like, get a renovation project like going, but... We're gonna have our bills shut off. Like this money needs to come in like now. Like, cause I don't think I can get rid of these. I think that these need to stay and keep the bills up from what I understand. What can the kids do? Jane, you're gonna need to go on a, a collect collecting hunt, my girl. So Jane's going to work in a couple hours. I think let's put in a vacation day. Do I still have vacation days? I'm just taking so many vacations. Oh yeah, she has four vacation days. Let's take it. Let's just get paid for a day off. There we go. And then we're going to Forgotten Grotto now. I don't know how else to get a lot of money fast. Um, because the, the, the plants the plants are not uh, going to grow fast enough. I don't believe I need Clement to come again. I think I've opened it already. We've broken it open. And it should just be a direct passage through. So let's go, Jane. There's a bathroom there as well. Tintab also informed me that there's, there is also a bathroom inside there. So travel to Forgotten Grotto. Yeah, I don't need to explore it. We just go straight. Thank you for running, Jane. Your urgency is appreciated. Yeah, you're spending the whole day there. Oh, no. Oh, no, the electricity shut off. Oh, my God, guys, we just got another penalty. <gasps> the land grab company has shut off the power to your house. Another penalty. Ooh, guys, we cannot afford this. I'm literally desperate. Oh, there's the toilet. Thank you, Tintab. You're right. There it is. Never noticed it before. I'm literally just going to go around here and see what I can get. None of these plants are ready for picking. Lily flower. There's water. There's some rocks. And there's some frogs. Ruby. Um, and then let's just, I'm just going to angle for a big catch here, see what I can get quickly. Because this is, this, these aren't, in, she caught a puffer fish. These aren't endangered fish here. Vampire squid. Whoa, cool, cool, cool. Ray, do not succumb to its cuteness or lack thereof. Cool. Let us mount that. Lifestyle, she unlocked the people person lifestyle. The what? Sims living a people person lifestyle have an easier time building and maintaining a large friend group, sometimes at the cost of connecting with those friends to acquire and maintain. The Sims should have four more friends. Does Jane have that many friends? Outdoorsy in progress. Yeah, no, she's definitely um, outdoorsy. So, an adrenaline seeker in progress. Explore dangerous locales, get into fights, woohoo outside, work in a dangerous career. Uh, okay. Ooh, batfish. Do we even need to go to Midnight Hollow? Rare, the batfish doesn't sleep upside down, but it has nice leathery wings to make up for it. Cool, cool. 
I can't believe we got another penalty, guys. Like, I feel blunted. Train's exhausted. Go use the bathroom quickly. No, don't return to the active lot. Just go to the toilet. Just go to the toilet. Don't go anywhere else. Just go to the toilet. It's just, like, out there. Just use it. And then, is there anything I can take for energy? Do I have the robot parts? So she was angling for a big catch here. Jane met Zachary while at school. Good. Meet people. Because I'm terrible at it. Angela met Anna. Who? Angela should be getting promoted in drama club, I believe. Oh, Jade is one of the top students. And Mason's now an A student. Oh, guys. I feel bad for making them do their homework on vacation. Health potion. Oh, she passed out. Get some energy. Continue fishing. You have a lot of fruit to eat while you're here. There we go. Promoted to practical performer. There we go. Clements unlock the people person lifestyles. Well, is that just because they have a family of five and they're friends with four people? If so, that's very silly because Jane doesn't have that many friends. It's literally just her family, which I think would be more a family thing as opposed to a, oh, it's Jaden's birthday. And I think it's also Clement's birthday. Fish a little bit longer. Okay, let's go. Let's go back home. Okay, it's birthday time. Do we have birthday cakes in the fridge that have not been eaten yet? There's a one, there's one. Add birthday candles, make a wish. Come on, little man. Let's see, let's see. Ooh. Jaden aged up. Teenaged him. Genius. So let's get to the um, randomizer. Okay, so now it's going to generate both of them together. So I'll just go with it. So here he was. Genius. Friend of the animals and child of the islands. What? Wow, that's random. Friend of the animals and child of the islands. Okay, dude. These sims experience a spiritual connection to the islands of Sulani. Honor the islands by partaking in their culture, summon powerful elementals, and reap the rewards of their blessings or the consequences of their disfavor. What are you going to do in Dalsol Valley with that? I don't know. But there he is. My apologies, everyone. That's very embarrassing. My, so so what I've been doing, I can't remember now from what point I stopped, but my plants are disappearing and I'm not really sure why. And we're really poor again. Don't cook, you can't afford it. Just need to see what I can do to get some money here. Okay, now my internet's being painfully slow. So I think uh, this is a sign that I just need to call it here for the day. I am sorry once again. And I am shocked once again. And I don't know what we're going to do. If you guys have other suggestions, because I really don't know what just happened. So he has max baking, but that thing costs money. Singing, he can go busk. We'll see what Clement can do to busk. I'm also going to see what we can do to get some more money in here. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode. I hope you at least enjoyed some of it. Uh, and I will see you in next week's episode. Sul, sul.